Hey, what's happening, Body Shop friends? I want to share a framework with you. Matter of fact, I was just talking to some shops. They're super frustrated. They spend a lot of money on advertising. They're not seeing the return. The marketing agencies they're working with are charging big dollars, and they're not sure it's worth the effort. Now, they were breaking the cardinal rule, and I want to share this with you. It's called the Puck Formula. All right, not not. It sounds bad, but it's actually P P U. C, all right, this is the puck formula. Matter of fact, this was taught to me by Bill Reitzel when I was 14 years old. I went to go intern for him at Reitzel Advertising. So it's his marketing agency and, uh, and they taught me the puck formula. And if you don't do this, if you don't do this in your marketing, you're wasting money, all right? So this is a, a fundamental and it's especially important for the collision industry. For my shops, guys, here's the opportunity. When I started marketing my shops, I didn't obey the puck formula for the first couple of years and we spent a ton of money, it wasn't working. Once we instituted this, it made a big difference and it's really simple. Think of a triangle for a second, okay? So a triangle, you know a triangle of the uh, flat bottom pointy top. Now I know my drawing isn't so good, but there's three things you need, all right? Three things to this framework. Number one is what is called a pattern interrupt. So I'll put this here. Number one is pattern interrupt. Okay, so a pattern interrupt is something that stops you and gets your attention. Keep in mind, all of your customers are seeing between, depending on market, between 5,000 and 9,000 marketing messages per day on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on, on Twitter, on radio, on TV, on print, all these different things out there, a lot of marketing messages. So a pattern interrupts job, and I'll show you an example. Matter of fact, this is one we did for our, our shops. Uh, and this is actually my son. So I had him key the side of a truck and it says, I love mom on the side, right? So they see this little redheaded kid with a screwdriver in their hand and they're like, oh, that little brat, he just keyed the side of a truck, right? And then they read the message and it says, I love mom. And they're like, oh, and so they get this conflict. But what we just did is we grabbed their attention. So children are really good at doing a pattern interrupt. People are naturally like, oh, there's a kid. What's up, right? And then they see the little rascal. Uh, so that's a powerful pattern interrupt. And it just grabs their attention. That's the number one thing that we have to do is grab the attention. Once you have the attention, the second thing is, number two, if you can see that, is urgency. All right, a sense of urgency. And urgency, um, in this case, you'll see where we said, in a, in a scrape, need an estimate before rust sets in. That's our way of creating a sense of urgency. Now, scrapes, they don't really rust overnight, but we want people to get the fear or that motivation that I need to be doing something. And so when we did this, we had a ton of people reaching out to us going, yeah, I think I need to get this dealt with sooner than later, right? And that's because they had this fear of it rusting. Matter of fact, I was doing a, uh, a session. Uh, this guy used to work for PlayStation. He came into our industry. He's running about 12 shops. Uh, their marketing division and I was showing them this actual ad and he started getting agitated and he's like trying to like get up and move around and I'm like what's going on you know what's what's up Matt and he's like well hey um, I, I actually I need to go get an estimate on my SUV I got a key scratch down the side and I'm like that's it's doing its job it's creating that agitation it's creating the need for them to take action which is the third and final thing that you really need to have is what is called a C T a call to action. So if you think of your average customer, think of your ideal job for the shop, right? It's probably between that small to medium size repair. And these people have a tendency to drive these vehicles around. These are the ones you see in parking lots everywhere and you're like, man, I just wish they'd come and get that fixed at my shop. That's your sweet spot. And that's the people you wanna target with your marketing. So if we grab their attention, we create urgency, but we don't give them an ability to take action, that's a problem. Right, that's a problem. And so what we wanna do is create it. And in this case, it's like click here to start your estimate, right? Uh, you could have, and we used to link this up to our Body Shop Booster tool, right? So they click there, boom, instantly they can take video and photos and send it in the shop. We've now also collected their email, their address, their phone number, or their information. And we can now put that into an auto campaign, right inside a Body Shop Booster where you kind of nurture it into a customer. But it doesn't have to be that. It can be things like call us now, right? Text us now. Um, Anything that you do around call to action, make sure it's simple. If you make it difficult and you say to the customer, hey, come down to the shop Thursdays between 1.30 and 2.30 p.m., the customer's gonna go, yeah, I should do that, but I'm busy. And then if they can't take action immediately, 
they will fall back asleep. They'll go back into hibernation mode. So that is the, the puck formula. Okay, so let's just do a re quick recap for you. Number one, get their attention through a pattern interrupt. Things like children work really well, things that are a little bit out there, right? You know, uh, that, that grab their attention, bright colors. Uh, that's going to instantly allow them to connect to the problem they're facing. Think about you as the medicine for the customer's problem. If they've got a little fender bender, use that in your copy, in your marketing, so that it grabs their attention and they go, yeah, I have that problem, right? Because their brain is so quick, in 13 milliseconds, it can process an image, process for my American friends, it can process an image in 13 milliseconds whether they need you or they don't. So make sure that it's something quick and they're like, oh, right? It grabs their attention, I've got that problem. Then create a sense of urgency where you get them moving. If it's a, a scrape or maybe it's a, hey, you got crack in your bumper. Here's a really racy one. This, this is an example. Uh, you can see the dude's butt crack here. And it's like, oh man, like that grabs people's attention whether you like it or not. And then a little bit of humor, you know, fix that crack before it spreads. And that's their sense of urgency, right? And they're pointing at the crack in the bumper, but, but it's, you know, it pulls them in. And, and guys, I mean, how many times have you seen a bumper crack actually spread on a vehicle? Very rarely, very rarely, right? And so here's the opportunity, right? And then they have click here to start your estimate. So they have the fundamentals. And this was a great campaign that brought them a ton of work. And a lot of customers are like, oh my goodness, I do have a crack in my bumper and I think it's spreading, right? Very rarely does it actually spread. So creating that sense of urgency, getting them moving in your direction, giving them that call to action, that's the ability to take action immediately. So my call to action on this little video, if this is something that's helpful that you want to get more information on, click the link down below. You can talk to one of our experts, one of our strategists. We have a free session that you can jump on and one of us would be happy to talk to you more about these things and also talk about some of the technology that supports this for your organization. Guys, hope you found this helpful. We'll talk again real soon.